but today i just want to show you how you can actually add an extra cost let's say it's a surcharge uh, on a particular cut that you do have go back into uh, my woocommerce remember the plugin is activated and then i reload this you're actually going to see that we have a new packaging uh, cost here but welcome back to the channel uh, right now i've been thinking about how I can use some of the knowledge that I've acquired using uh, e-commerce and especially WooCommerce or classic commerce in particular. Now, right now, what we are seeing is uh, the dashboard of uh, classic commerce or WooCommerce. And uh, classic commerce basically is a fork of what WooCommerce is today. And it's uh, basically trying to evolve itself into something that will be different. But right now, we are looking at uh, the inside and we can see this is a uh, WooCommerce and we've put our price for our product we have a number of products that we've put in but today I just want to show you how you can actually add an extra cost let's say it's a surcharge uh, on a particular cut that you do have so if we see our shop right now if I refresh here we have two products a blouse and t-shirt and we're going to make an order and after ordering, we're going to go to view cut. And when we view the cut, we see our total price. That's okay. Let's proceed to checkout. And so we have to fill in all these details. And at the bottom here, we see that uh, our total, our subtotal is given. We have a shirt which is 45 pounds, and the subtotal will be 45 pounds. But what I want to actually do is I want to introduce a new course. Now, maybe. Uh, WooCommerce is not handling my taxes very well. Maybe I'm out of the tax system that's well, that's put in there. Or I want to just add a surcharge. Maybe it's for packaging, let's say. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to open up my code editor. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of coding and customize what our WooCommerce is. And I'm going to open up my code editor. And I'm just going to go into my plugins uh, where my, my my website is and I'm going to do add new cost uh, let's call it package cost as a plugin and we'll prefix it with uh, my initials and what we'll do is that we'll drag that and then we'll just drop it in here add it to our workspace and then I'll just open a new file which I'll call lab package cost the PHP so essentially what we are doing is uh, we're going to write a new plugin and I'll just copy and paste uh, what I've used before to make this really quick so we'll uh, just call this package cost extra fee uh, just copy this here and I'll paste it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my plugins and activate that particular plugin. Uh, we have it right here. So I'll activate package cost extra fee, which is our plugin that we're going to use in our WooCommerce. And uh, if we reload at the back here, nothing has changed, nothing has happened because we've not added anything to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hooks that are also in WooCommerce. WooCommerce has adopted what a WordPress or what Classic Commerce does, and they have used what we call hooks. So we're going to use an add action to tap into a hook of a, a WooCommerce, and this action is called a WooCommerce. It's called WooCommerce Cut Calculate Fees, and that's uh, the action that we need to use. And then we're going to write our own function, which we shall call, let's say, uh, lab package cost. So that's uh, our new function. And what I'll do here is copy this, and then I'll write the function. And then uh, I'll just uh, save this. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is that we have a global uh, in WooCommerce which is called a WooCommerce and this is instantiated the moment you the moment you load your WooCommerce plugin this global is instantiated 
so we're going to use the same global which is our WooCommerce and then we are going to tap a chained method on it so we're going to look at the cut and then we're going to uh, look at the function which is add fee uh, which is the method that we're actually looking for in uh, the classic commas so what we're going to do is that we're going to first of all add uh, the little two dashes that we're adding here just for translation let's say would like our plugin to be translated the first argument we have is the name of what our cost will be called so we'll call it maybe packaging as a cost and after adding that name what we're going to do is that we're going to also uh, add our what we would call our text domain so i'll just copy this text domain that we had copied before so that we make it translatable and then we're going to add after adding our name of the package we put a comma then we put a price that we do want so for example five now we don't wrap it in it, we don't wrap it in quotes because it's not a string but rather we want to use a number so if i save this right here and then go back into uh, my woocommerce remember the plugin is activated and then i reload this you're actually going to see that we have a new packaging uh, cost here which is five pounds and it automatically adds to our price of 50, uh, 45 to make it 50. this is how we can add small taxes we can add um, a couple of things to make this possible so if you like what's going on here please let me know in the comments i will be making these every saturday at least once every week i'll be showing you a few of those some of those sample snippets that you can add in your woocommerce shop to make it look brighter and look better uh, i will be sharing uh, this code that i've been working with on github and you can find the code uh, the github code actually on the repo that is listed in the description below thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content that's here or leave a like or even leave a comment saying uh, what you like and what you don't like about uh, the particular video that you've watched thank you and goodbye